everybody, this is Ilana Michelson from OptionTill.com or IlanaMichelson.com since I just changed the name of my website to IlanaMichelson.com. And today I want to share with you something. You know that first of all, yesterday I found out that all my toilet bowls were leaking and I got them fixed and I was really happy about it because I had the nicest plumber come and he really didn't charge me a lot of money and he fixed it all for me with a big smile on his face. And then I found out that my refrigerator broke down and the freezer wasn't working properly and I quickly moved all my meat over to my deep freezer to make sure they didn't get spoiled or anything and the bread over to the deep freezer so that it wouldn't get spoiled. And there's this one person in my neighborhood who happens to also be my mechanic, but he also happens to be, for me, an angel that God sent. Because whenever I need anything, he's always there to help me. He'll always be willing. He even once offered me his car when my car broke down and I had to go pick up my parents. He said, take my car, it's okay, just go. And there's not that many people like that around. He's like really an angel, hi there Leslie, that God sent to me to help take care of me during this time that I'm alone with my kids for the past 12 years. And he's been there for the past 12 years and he's I can come to him any time the day or night and I know that he'll always help me if he can. In any case, so he gave me the name of somebody to fix my refrigerator. Now I remember that when I was looking, buying the refrigerator, I asked about fixing it. They told me that to have someone from the company come, it costs approximately $100 just for them to come and see what's wrong with it. And then obviously whatever they have to fix, they pay for the item that you need to fix and for the time that it takes them to fix it. And I knew that might be really expensive because I didn't know what was wrong with my refrigerator. So I called up this guy that my angels gave me the number for, and he says, okay, I'll come tomorrow. 7.30 in the morning, he calls me up. Can I come now? Because today's a fast day. It's with the 17th of Tammuz, for any of you who don't know, it's the day when they broke through, they started the siege around Jerusalem. No, actually, it's the day that they broke through the walls and they started fighting Jerusalem before they actually and the in three weeks from now was the day that commemorates the day that they actually destroyed the temple but today's when they broke through the, the walls and they started fighting in any case we're fasting today to commemorate it and he was also fasting he's also a religious Jew a Yemenite Jew and that by the way is another thing that I'm so grateful for I live in the middle of all these Yemenites and all these Yemenites are all builders mechanics um, electricians and they all know all the tricks of the trade and if I ever need anything there's always someone around that will help me and because they know my situation they'll never charge me a lot of money they'll always say they'll say whenever you pay that's fine don't worry about it and that's not too common I mean I don't know if it's just for me that they do it they do it for everybody but all I can say is that I'm grateful that they do it in any case so he came at 7 in the morning 7 30 in the morning fixed my refrigerator by 8 30 I had my refrigerator and freezer again and I only charged me $150 I was like amazed I was so grateful so that's fixed that fixed my son's still in a cast but he's on the mend as well and then a friend of mine asked me today so tell me how are you doing and I'm like thanks all's well and she's like all's well you had one child that was sick with cancer you have one child who smashed his wrist your toilet bowls broke your refrigerator broke like, what's all well over there? And it occurred to me that it really all depends on how you look at things. What is your outlook on life in general? And I wasn't always like this. I mean, 12 years ago when I first got divorced, I was down in the dumps most of the time, not looking at the bright side of anything, anything at all. Now, after 12 years of inner work, 12 years of trying to walk the walk of the talk that I'm talking and managing at this point, I always manage to see what the good things are. And the fact that I got my refrigerator back at 8.30 in the morning and only cost $150, that's an amazing thing. I thought I was gonna have to buy a new refrigerator that was gonna cost me a few thousand dollars. The fact that my toilet bowls were fixed and that was also all for maybe $100 and I'm gonna get the money back from my water bill because I fixed it and that's what they say, as long as you show them that you actually fixed the leak, they give you back the money. That's amazing for me. I'm in a great place. My son, he's mending, not just that, but it could have been so much worse. When he fell down, he bang, he could have banged his head on the rocks, but instead he put his hands there to stop it and he only smashed his wrist. I'd much rather have a smashed wrist than a smashed head. So it really all depends on how you look at things and when you can switch yourself and find the positive aspects of anything that's going on in your life, you're in a much better place and you start to see much more positive aspects. You start to see the good in everything and in everyone. And seeing the good in everything and everyone, 
Hi there, Pradeep. Seeing the good in everyone and in everything puts you in a place where you see more and more good and everyone and in everything that's in your life. And before you know it, when you look at your life, you see, wow, my life is really amazing. And not just do you see that your life is amazing, everyone who talks to you, everyone who hears you starts to say, your life is so amazing, how do you do it? And that's when I can start having the influence. That's when I can start telling people how to do it. Now that doesn't mean that everyone starts doing it right away, but those who do start doing it definitely are ahead of the game. Now, recently I started doing couple therapy. Couple therapy, in my opinion, is really hard unless you have two members of the couple who are really dedicated to wanting to get back together again, to stay together, not get together, but stay together. And one of the ways that I do that, just like in my life, when I see something, I always try looking for the positive aspects. The homework that they have is they have to find the positive aspects of the other part of the partner. So every morning or every night, they have to tell each other one thing that they love each other, love about each other. But the important thing here is that it can't be repeating the same thing over and over again. Every night has to be something new. And when you do that, when you start looking for the things that you love about the other person, you start being reminded of all the things that you used to love in them when you first met. That's what attracted you to them. That's why you want to marry them in the first place. And as you start building on that, those things grow bigger and bigger. And all those other things that you didn't like so much, they get thrown out by the sideway because the things that you love are just growing bigger and bigger and bigger. And you're finding more and more things about the person that you loved until you start nurturing the relationship in a good way again, and in a positive way, and in a loving way, which is what we want. Anyway, if there's any questions, I'm happy to answer. Otherwise, I wish you all to have a good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are in this great big world. Remember, everything's always going your way. Everything's always going my way. Everything's always going everybody's way. Have a great day from MilanaMichelson.com. Oh, by the way, one last thing, if you haven't done it yet, give a like down below. And if you're watching this on YouTube, click on the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you can get notified every time there's a new video because otherwise YouTube won't notify you. So don't forget, like down below, if you give me a heart, that's even better, it makes me feel nice and loved, that I love to feel loved. And YouTube, subscribe button and the bell notification. Have a great day.